So today I was rejected from Oxford University. I don't know why, but I think I expected it. I don't know what it was. Maybe something just didn't really feel like right about it. Um, I mean, I'd call myself an optimistic person, but something about this just like didn't, didn't feel right. It didn't feel like like it was gonna happen, I guess. So basically, let me tell you how the day went. Um, I woke up, there was nothing there, there was no email, nothing, which was cool, you know. People say that it happens during the day, people say you get a letter. I went to school, I refreshed my emails all the time. Um, but yeah, it was okay, I wasn't feeling like too stressed about it or anything. Then in my second lesson, I went into the library and um, I went over to another girl in my school. There were three of us who applied to Oxford. So I went over to her and I was gonna ask like if she'd heard anything back. And literally the moment that I got over to her, she had just opened an email from her college and she got in and I was so happy for her. Um, and then when I had congratulated her enough, um, I sat down, I looked at my emails and there was still nothing there. Um, and I also went on Twitter and I was thrilled to see the Eve also got in and Blessing Marie Vlogs got into Cambridge and Liv's boyfriend Amir, he also got into Cambridge, which is amazing. And don't get me wrong, I was so happy for all these people, but it kind of sent me into like a bit of a frenzy, like a bit of a stressed frenzy. And I couldn't concentrate for my whole free. I just kept refreshing my emails and kind of like stealing glances at it whenever I could. And I don't know, as the day went on, I think I just knew it felt like, everyone who was successful already knew and I hadn't heard of anyone being rejected yet, which kind of meant that rejection, like emails or letters or whatever, hadn't gone out yet, I guess. Um, so, you know what I did? I went on track and it said, yep, you have been unsuccessful or have withdrawn your application. And I was like, well, I know I haven't withdrawn it, so I just must be unsuccessful. And I can still remember like I had this moment where my heart just like drops. I don't know, like it was nice in a way to finally be put out of my misery and to know. But yeah, basically I'm a bit of a wimp. I couldn't face it. So I pretended that I still hadn't known what the result was and I didn't tell. I told like two of my friends when the time was right and I was alone with them, but I didn't really tell people. And I knew I had a test period five, so I didn't want to put myself in the awful frame of mind. Um, but yeah, I didn't get into Oxford and it's okay, it's fine. Um, like loads of people don't get in, loads of people who are very deserving don't get in. And I'm a little bit gutted, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I think one of the main reasons I'm so like sad is just because the process is so long and draining from perfecting that personal statement to doing the interviews and like there's almost a results day when you're trying to find out if you've got an interview or not and preparing for interviews and seeing if you've got more interviews and I don't know, it's just like a lot of hurdles to cross and for it now all to have just sort of, I don't know, ended but not in a good way is just, it's a little bit disheartening, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then I texted my mum and I was like, mum, I haven't gotten in um, a few like broken heart emojis. <laughs> um, and she was like, yeah, a letter just arrived for you, but I thought it was a bit thin. I didn't wanna say anything, but yeah, it was a bit thin. And as soon as she said that, it was like, everything is confirmed and I've got the letter here. And it is very thin. There is no contract to be signed. Um, and basically, I think because I kind of expected this in some ways, um, like I'm fine with it, I'm okay with it. And I know that it just means that I kind of wouldn't suit the environment there or there are people who deserve it more, which is a very, very valid reason. And I'm very thrilled for the people, especially if you're watching this and you managed to get an offer from Oxbridge, Oxford or Cambridge, well done and I'm very proud of you. It has been a long slog and you deserve it. And I'm not bitter towards Oxbridge in any way. Um, I think the main thing is just, it's hard telling people. That's the main thing I'd say. Like everyone kind of wants to know and you walk around and it's like, oh, have you heard yet? Have you heard yet? 
and I think that's what I fear the most is like having to tell people and like get the reaction back um like the sympathy and all the I don't know it just makes it a bigger thing than it is I guess like the world doesn't revolve around Oxbridge but sometimes it feels like at school it can do um yeah oh I, I'm kind of just dreading it oh, like talking about it so yeah I'm not a very um unjaded version of Jade right now the thing is I know that my worth is not defined by university and I know that I will probably be sat in a few years and I will be somewhere where I'm really proud and happy to be um and this day will kind of just seem kind of inconsequential and really like irrelevant um but right now where I can't really see like what that future is it's a little bit again a little bit disheartening <laughs> so I'm trying to stay positive and I know it's okay like I'm fine with it as I say um but equally it's just a bit like sad i'm not really sure what my plan b is yet um i'm obviously taking a gap year so i'm excited for that and i'm gonna go to visit days at other unis but right now i just feel a bit like a bit deflated i just feel like well i don't know which other uni i want to go to um i just don't want to have the conversations with people i don't want to I don't want to have a conversation with like oh, I'm gonna start crying I know I am oh, like I know it's not the end of the world or anything I just don't I don't want to have conversations with like my head of year and stuff about it oh no oh. like yeah I know um sick of form um sixth form open evening is coming up soon and I have to give a speech and the other head girl has to give a speech as well and I really don't want our head teacher to at this open evening um, to be like oh I have one of our head girls <laughs> oh my god my voice um I really don't want our head teacher to be like oh yeah one head girl like she's going to Oxford um like our school can get people to Oxford blah 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 and then to just kind of like skim over the fact that I didn't get in like I don't know it's just oh I don't want to talk to people about it in real life anyway I pride myself on um being real and being honest on this channel so enjoy the tears and I am on my period so you know the tears are gonna come um but yeah if you like me didn't get a place it really isn't the end of the world. Like I know today I'll be sad, but I know tomorrow is just same day. I'm still Jade, I'm still doing well at school and I'm still planning on getting good grades. Um, it just means it wasn't meant to be. And I genuinely know that Oxbridge isn't perfect. And I think it is just kind of like the perception of it and the hype around it, which makes it seem more of like a be all or end all kind of achievement thing um but yeah i don't need oxford to succeed but yeah i guess it just means i'm gonna be happier at another place doing something else um i mean as the oxford path closes it only means that i will end up on a different path and that path is the one that is gonna get me to where i'm gonna be most happy um and meet the people that i need to meet and probably get into the career that I want to be in um which I don't even know yet just to say um so yeah I hope that if you also got rejected you're not feeling like your world has ended because it really hasn't um I mean go watch Jack Edwards video if you haven't he got rejected and he showed the wrong got three ace stars so um so yeah thank you so much for supporting me on the very long journey um Thank you for all your love and amazing comments along the way and thank you for believing in me. Yeah, I love you lots and bye. <laughs>